A servant's faith manifests itself in surrendering and letting go. I pray this myself. I wish we can surrender to Him more. In our last days, if we look back at our lives, we would see a great movie directed by God. You are the star, and the movie came out great because the director is good. God does some work and directs a film for every one of us that we will see at the end. Like any film, there is drama and problems, but in the end there is a happy ending. The servant's faith appears in surrendering. Let go and give your mind a break to live happily. Throw your troubles upon him. Instead of thinking that things won't get solved, remind him of the problems. Surrendering is good. This is love that trusts. When you love someone, you have to trust him fully, 100%. You can't love someone you don't trust. With people, you will love and trust, but you should know his flaws. But you can love and trust God who has no flaws. With people, trust always should be with wisdom. The servant's faith manifests itself in giving sincerely. This means that you do things faithfully because he looks at them and receives them from you. You should do things well because he will receive it and see it. I remember once that we bought a gift for someone and went to wrap it. We told the guy to wrap it well. He said, this person gets a lot of presents. I don't think he opens them. However, one of us said, what if he opened it? We will be embarrassed. Since then, I think about this statement. If God looked at our prayers, we would be embarrassed. Is this a gift to God? Is this a fast you give to God? Is this a good service? Trust means that you are sure that He looks at your service, your prayer, and your sacrifices. This is why, in Hebrews 11, by faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Do you know why Abel is a saint? He was a very simple man, but he gave the best thing he had to God because he knew that God looked at what he gave and evaluated it. Having trust in God makes the person let go happily, whether it's a position, job, prestige, or money. This person lives like a stranger, but he is not worried that everyone else sees him as an odd person. He is happy because he is the odd one who follows God. It's something good to resemble God and be seen as odd. This is an honor. Trust always gives you the holy fear, or the fear of God. All this was mentioned in Hebrews 11. I'm saying them quickly, but each of these things could take a lifetime to study. Hebrews 11.7 By faith Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear and prepared an ark. God said that he will come. Are you afraid or not? Life will end. You will stand in front of God and be asked about your actions. If you don't fear, you have no trust. That is faith. This is dangerous, but if you always remember this, you will probably go to heaven because your faith has, been put, has, has put true fear in your heart. This is not a harmful fear. It pushes you to put in effort to reach heaven. Faith makes you straight in everything. You cannot lie because he listens. Love makes you truthful. Faith makes you not fear death. We have a mystery, especially those who receive the Eucharist regularly. Fear of death is really frightening. Those who receive the Eucharist regularly inexplicably don't fear death. They don't care if they die. This is one of the blessings of eating God's body in the Eucharist. It removes the fear of death from you. This is why the people of the church who have the Eucharist regularly welcome death any time. Faith and trust make you res responsible, even for some things bigger than you, especially in service. You have no problem taking on this responsibility because you trust that he is responsible and will, and will carry everything. If you have something bigger than you, you make an effort by faith. I will conclude and say, who will go to heaven? Paul said in his last letter in 2 Timothy chapter 4, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Those who believe that God will come again await him. Those who wait happily for him to come will go to heaven. Those are the wise virgins who wait for the bridegroom to come in Matthew chapter 25. If anyone serves me, let him follow me, and where I am, there my servant will be also.
John 12. This verse is the one that motivates many servants. They want to serve till his last days because of this verse. Psalm 116, I believed, therefore I spoke. When you have faith, you speak with courage and testify for the Lord. You teach people and make an effort because you believe. Love believes all things, makes you hold on to God's promises. Practically, to increase trust, let's hold on to God's word more. He said that he will be with you, so he will. He said that he will not neglect you, so he will not. He said that everything is for good, so it is. He said that you are in his hands, so you will never be out of his hand. You must believe. Secondly, fight thoughts of doubt. Satan always comes to you to make you doubt him. He says that God left you, neglected you, and doesn't love you. He is a liar. You cannot listen to him. Fight these thoughts. Thirdly, enjoy your life with God. Why do you waste your enjoyment? A woman told me once that she regrets her vacations with her husband because he always lives in worry all the time. If we go to some place, he worries if an accident can happen, if the hotel will be good, if food will be good, if the sea will be good. When they go, he looks at people and wonders if they are good. She told me that she wants to tell him, let's go home. We do this with God. God does everything well, but we always think if things are going well or not. Why are you bothering yourself? He controls everything. This woman tells her husband, we came here to enjoy, but he can't enjoy it, like most of us. Let's have a practice to give thanks and contemplate how God gives us many blessings. Life will be great when we see it carried by God. Blessed are those who believe God because he tells them that he is preparing heaven so they believe and thank him. Glory and honor be to our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen.